Aphrodite giant cat. Cyprus cats, also known as Cypriot cats, St. Helen cats, and St. Nicholas cats, are a landris of domestic cat found across the island of Cyprus. A standardized breed is being developed from them, among cat fancier and breeder organizations, it is presently fully recognized by the World Cat Federation WCF, with breeding regulated by the World Cat Congress WCC, under the name Aphrodite's Giant, and provisionally by the International Cat Association TICA, as the Aphrodite. All three organizations permit short-haired and semi-long-haired versions and no outcrossing to other breeds. The earliest known written record of cats on Cyprus refers to a story of St. Helen of Constantinople sending two boatloads of cats to a monastery on the island from Egypt or Palestine in the 4th century AD to deal with an infestation of snakes. Cats on Cyprus have been able to breed for centuries with comparatively little outside influence. This has resulted in a distinct, locally adapted variety of cat which appears to have developed as a feral population in the inner highlands, though is found throughout the island in modern times. While wildcats in association with humans on Cyprus date to at least 7500 BC, the earliest proven association of cats with humans, there is no known connection between those ancient tamed wild specimens and modern domesticated Cyprus cats, despite breeder claims to the contrary. History a paper by J. D. Vigna, et al., concluded in 2004 that the discovery of Near Eastern wildcat, Phila sylvestris libica, remains in a 9,500-year-old grave in Cyprus is the oldest example to date of a cat in close association with humans. Archaeologists led by Jean Guilla working at the Neolithic site of Schiller Ocambos uncovered carefully interred remains of a cat alongside human remains and decorative artifacts on an island separated from the mainland since before human habitation, thus indicating human introduction of cats to the area. Examination showed that a small pit or grave had been deliberately dug out, and the body of the cat was placed in it, then rapidly covered. The cat skeleton predates Egyptian depictions of cats by 4,000 years or more. There is no evidence that modern cats of any variety are descended from ancient Cypriot wild cats. Nevertheless, both WCF and Tika have uncritically repeated breeder claims of such descent. Cyprus cats of today are more likely linked with the monastery named St. Nicholas of the Cats, Greek. Gamma Iota Omicron Nu Iota Kappa Lambda Alpha Omicron Tau Omega Nu Gamma Alpha Tau Nu, Romanized, Agios Nicolaus Tun Gadon, which was founded in the 4th century AD. It is located near Akrotiri. According to Byzantine legend, Helena of Constantinople, Saint Helen, shipped hundreds of cats from Egypt or Palestine to Cyprus in 328 AD to control venomous snakes that had infested the area around the monastery, 
following a drought lasting 37 years. The monastery had two bells, one to call the cats to meals and the other to send them into the fields to hunt snakes. The population of cats at the site, today a nunnery, once dwindled, but has now revived thanks to care by the resident nuns. The Nobel laureate Giorgio Seferis wrote of these cats in his poem The Cats of St. Nicholas. The story being a legend, it is impossible to know for certain today if shiploads of cats were really sent to Cyprus in the 4th century and cats have, of course, been arriving on the island, often as ships' cats, for many centuries. The World Cat Congress is of the opinion that Cyprus cats developed over time in mountainous inner Cyprus from various populations of cats around the island and became large and bushy-haired to cope with hunting comparatively large prey-like rats, big lizards and snakes in cool, wet, mountain weather. Though summers there are fairly hot and dry, both WCF and Tika note that the thickness of the coat in purebred Aphrodite cats descended from this population still varies seasonally. The other two organizations' breed summaries are generally consistent with this view though it is uncertain who first produced this account of their origin, or on what basis. It is unclear whether Cyprus cats are closely related to the broader Aegean cat Landris of mainland and island Greece. Genetic testing to date, see below, has shown only that the Cyprus cats are distinct enough that a breed could be developed from them. Characteristics Cyprus cats are somewhat thick-haired, from short-haired up to semi-long-haired in cat fancier's jargon, and are an athletic and energetic variety. Feral populations are found throughout the island of Cyprus, from mountainous and cooler regions to the lower, hotter areas near the coasts, including in the cities. As such, this cat has locally adapted to different climates slash seasonal change, however, it may be more associated with the mountainous areas. Aphrodite Breed Development Local breeders began in 2006 to attempt to establish a standardized breed from local feral cats. In 2008, a World Cat Federation, WCF, all breeds judge visited Cyprus to work at a cat show and was introduced to a breeder of purebred cats developed in this trial breeding program from the Cyprus cats. Considering the cats distinct, he wrote a standard of points and named them Aphrodite Giant. The president and board members of WCF advised that these Aphrodite cats should be shown outside Cyprus to become better known within the cat fancy, but did not immediately accept the nascent breed. Subsequently, a group of interested people in Cyprus decided to form a club which was named the Cyprus Cats National Breed Association, CICNBA, which applied for government approval and started functioning in late 2009. CICNBA applied to affiliate to the WCF in April 2012. In addition, it was agreed that a letter be sent to a leading specialist in cat genetics, 
Leslie A. Lions of University of California, Davis, asking whether she would agree to DNA test a selection of Cypress cats to see whether it was possible to genetically define them as a breed. The professor, who intended shortly to begin a further study of Turkish Van and Turkish Angora cats, whose ancestry has long been disputed, agreed to study samples submitted from Cyprus. A total of 248 cats were studied, including a number of random bred Cyprus cats from the Malcolm Cat Sanctuary, for comparison. All cats were considered in one large analysis. The analysis partitioned the cats based solely on genetic variation, not by any other identification. L. Lyons, January 2, 2012, the January 2012 report concluded that Cyprus cats are a distinct population within the Mediterranean and that a breed from Cyprus could be developed. On July 1, 2012, the cat became a fully recognized breed of the WCF, originally as just the Aphrodite's giant long hair though it is actually in the organization's semi-long-haired division, after the CICNBA attended the WCF General Assembly in Gelsenkirchen, Germany and applied for recognition of the CATS in April 2012. Today, WCF also recognizes a short-haired variant. In September 2017, the International Cat Association, TICA, recognized the cats, under the name Aphrodite, as a preliminary new breed, in its own breed group and with both short-haired and semi-long-haired varieties. Some Tika members have started breeding programs for the Aphrodite in Europe, Asia, and the United States. In breeder terminology, this constitutes a natural or traditional breed, one developed from local stock to preserve its key characteristics, rather than created by breeders to have new features. Breed Standards The WCF standard calls for the Aphrodite's giant to be large, strong, and muscular but not cobby, and big-boned even as kittens. The cats may be short-haired or semi-long-haired and of any colors other than color point or mink, which comes from the Burmese gene, nor with any white spots if otherwise solid colored. In bicolor, non-regular color setting is desired. The coat should be soft and woolly, and is expected to be longer and with an undercoat in winter, and always lacking any top coat except possibly on the back. In detail, WCF calls for muscular hips and shoulders, back legs slightly longer than front, a trait shared with another insular breed, the Manx, medium long, well-plumed tail, commensurate with body size, and visibly tapering in the short-haired version, a long triangular head with straight cheeks, long and straight muzzle, strong chin, rounded front of the face, slightly domed forehead and a very slight dip under the height of the eyes, wide-based, medium-large ears, forming an open V. Rather than being straight upward, an olive-shaped, oblique set eyes of any uniform color, 
Weight range is not specified. WCF has set no temperament or breeding rules for this breed and defers on breeding points instead to the World Cat Congress, WCC, which permits no outcrossing other than between the long-haired and short-haired varieties of the breed. Only WCC, a confederation of national and international cat federations, which does not itself issue breed standards, just breeding regulations, uses the term Aphrodite's giant short hair for the latter. WCC asks that judges disqualify smaller specimens of both to preserve the large bone nature of the breed. Under the Tika definition, Aphrodites may be short-haired or semi-long-haired and have any color and pattern, except they may not be color point or mink and should not have a locket spot on the chest. The coat should be soft and lush and may seasonally vary in undercoat density, not required. They are athletic, well-muscled, solid and of medium to large build, but must have a gentle, non-aggressive temperament. Fully adult male weight range is 15 to 18 pounds, 6.8 to 8.2 kilograms, female, 10 to 14 pounds, 4.5 to 6.4 kilograms, which is heavy for a female cat. On finer points, the Tika standard calls for hips and shoulders of the same width, back legs slightly longer than front, an overall long triangular, straight-cheeked head with a squared, but not flattened muzzle and slight concavity between nose and brow leading to a slightly rounded forehead wide-based, wide-set, and fairly large ears forming an open V, oblique, olive-shaped eyes of any color, a full-width chin of normal depth, medium-long, tapering tail consistent with the body and coat, and plumed in the long-haired version. Jowls are permitted in adult males. No outcrossing to other cats is permitted, though the two varieties of Aphrodite are a single breed for Tika purposes. WCF and Tika sharply conflict with each other on the cat's speed of maturity, perhaps owing to different foundation stock for their breed variants. The WCF standard says that they develop quickly, while Tika says they are comparatively slow to mature, another trait shared with the Manx, taking three to five years to reach full size. Tika's overview of the breed describes them as affectionate and social and in some ways dog-like in behavior toward their keepers. Attributes Perhaps two of the most prominent characteristics of Cypress cats are that they are friendly and energetic. These cats adore being around people and receiving attention, making them a great choice for families with kids, cats, or dogs in the house. Even though the cypress is sociable and they can make for a wonderful lap cat, they can be particular about being handled or picked up. Knowing this, it is important to supervise any interaction your cat has with young children. These four-legged companions are also quite smart, and you may be surprised at their problem-solving skills. As a pet parent, it is important to remember that even though these are common traits among Cypress cats, 
Each cat is unique and has their own individual personality. Cypress cats are typically slender and tall, yet they still have a muscular build. They also have a rather thick coat that can be found in short to semi-long lengths. These cats can have nearly any color and pattern of fur, except for color point or mink. Plus, if a cypress is solid colored, it should not have any white spots. When it comes to their eye color, cypress cats can have practically any color that a cat can have. These medium-sized cats can weigh anywhere from 8 to 16 pounds, and they have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. Grooming and Care With their thick coat, cypress cats must be brushed regularly, preferably a few times a week. As a general rule, these cats will shed more during the spring and autumn seasons, and the longer-haired cypress will shed more than their short-haired counterparts. As part of your pal's grooming routine, it is also important to brush their teeth, clean around their eyes, and clean their ears. If you are ever unsure about a feline safe hygiene product or how to groom your cat safely, talk with your veterinarian on recommendations and helpful tips. Another essential part of any cat's grooming routine is to trim their nails. This will typically need done every few weeks or once a month. To naturally wear down their nails, it is helpful to provide at least one scratching post or cat tower in your home. Besides their grooming routine, another key part of caring for a cypress cat is to provide them with daily exercise. These cats are naturally an active breed, so having the opportunity to burn off their energy is necessary to your cat's overall health and happiness. Keeping your four-legged friend active can likewise keep their weight under control. Fun Facts Now that you've learned all about the Cypress Cat, it's time to enjoy reading some fun facts about these felines. Asterisk the cypress cat is known by multiple names, including Cypriot cat, St. Helen cat, St. Nicholas cat, the Aphrodite, Aphrodite's giant, Aphrodite's giant long hair, and Aphrodite's giant short hair. Asterisk for years, these felines were concentrated around the inner highlands and mountainous regions on the island of Cyprus. Today, these cats now call all regions of the island home. Asterisk these cats are known for hunting rats, mice, and lizards, in addition to snakes. Asterisk Cypress cat's back legs are slightly longer than their front legs, a trait that they share with the Manx cat.